as in any programming language, we will start by learning variables. And the first variable that I will introduce is called a float. So we simply type float, which is the type of the variable, and then we name it. So let's say speed. And then we assign a value to that variable by using the equal sign. So it's equal to, and let's say 2.1f. And float is a decimal point number, so we type 2.1, and we need to add this f at the end. If we remove this F now and go back in Unity, we will see that Unity complains. So here we have a problem. It's pointing to us that we need to add suffix F. So if I go back and just add F and save it and go back into Unity, we see that problem well, is solved basically. Now, why is it like this? Well, basically we have another type of variable that's also a decimal point number and it's called a double. So we can say double speed two is equal to 2.1 and this is perfectly legit basically. Now, in order to differentiate between a double and a float, we need to add F at the end to tell Unity that, well, basically this is a float and without the F, this is a double. Now, the difference between the two is in the precision. So a double is precise up to this number here, for example, and float is precise up to this number here. Now, this is just me guessing. I'm not sure up to which number each variable is precise, but a double is a little bit more precise than a float. But generally, we will use floats more in our projects than we use doubles. But I just wanted to point that out and here I will delete the double and leave the float so that well we can see that variable. The next variable that I will introduce is called an integer and integers are whole numbers. So here I can type int which denotes an integer and I can name it for example a is equal to 1. So we cannot say 1.2 or 1.3 it will be a problem or we will get an error from unity but we need to say a whole number. So basically floats and doubles are decimal point numbers and integers are whole numbers. Next, we have a variable called a string and a string is a character variable. So we type string and let's say for example name and we say equal to and in quotation marks we need to add a value. So let's say for example player or we want to name our character for example knight or I don't know ninja or something like that. We use a string which represents characters as I said but we need to type them in quotation marks like this. So between these quotation marks type the value that you want and that will be saved in this string variable. The last variable that I want to introduce is called a boolean variable and we type bool which is short of boolean and we can say for example is dead and this variable can only have one of the two values. It can either be true or it can be false. So there is no other value for this or for this variable, excuse me. So we will use mostly this variable in conditional statements when we want to check if something is true and based on that we will execute a piece of code, otherwise we will execute another piece of code. But basically just remember boolean, typing bool, which is short of boolean, then name it and it can be true or false. Before we wrap this up, I want to introduce one more concept and that is writing comments. We already have these automatically comments that are generated here with the script. And basically you just type this double backslash and here you can write anything. So we can say this is a comment. Now this will not be executed by the compiler and we use it to document our code. And how we do that? Well basically, for example, here we have this speed variable. So we can comment here, we can say the speed of the player or the speed of the enemy or anything that we will like. And we do this because if, for example, you work on one project and you finish it and then you go, well, and start a new project and you work two months on that project, when you go back on the first project, maybe to update it or refresh your knowledge, what you did, basically, you will not remember what you did. And trust me, you will not remember. You will go through each line of code or you, or you will need to go through each line of code in order to figure out what you did. But if you use comments like this and you comment everything that you do, then you will know for what you are going to use this specific variable or a specific function or anything else. So this is a good practice that you comment each variable, each function, so on and so forth. Basically everything that you want to do. So that when you go back to that project, 
you will remember or you will figure out well immediately what you wanted to do and that will save you a bunch of time and trust me about this.